Okay, I have to share this with you guys. This is a big moment for me. I think it's a big moment for any trans girl or trans woman when they get asked for their phone number for the very first time. And yes, I'm happily married, but this is an experience I didn't get when I was a teenager. So I'm in Starbucks and I'm writing on my laptop because that's what writers do. They go to Starbucks to write, right? I don't know. <laughs> I'm writing an ebook for fitness and I'm minding my own business. And this younger gentleman comes up and, and he's uh, not the kind of person that I'm interested in directly. I, he's very, very young. Uh, and, but I hear something out of the corner of my ear and I, I look, I go, what, hun? And he looks at me and goes, can I get your number? And I was so dumbfounded and, and just like awestruck. I looked at him like, why do you want my number? And he says, well, you're very pretty. And at that moment, I was just like, had all the feelings. I'm like, oh my God, this is the first time this has ever happened to me. What do I do? And I just was like, okay, yeah, you can have my number. And so I gave it to him and I actually gave him my real number. Is that good or bad? I don't know. But <laughs> I, it, I kind of felt bad because I don't have an interest in this person. I'm, like I said, happily married. Um, and, you know, not my type of person that I would be dating anyway, if I was dating, which I'm not. So anyway, the point is it... I brought on like a, a bunch of emotions that were very positive and I think it's just a big moment I felt like sharing <laughs> to everybody because that's never happened to me before and I think it's a big milestone in anyone's transition when something like that happens and it gives you that encouragement and self-confidence that you're sitting there and you are an attractive person or you've kind of reached that spot or that point where you're really sinking into yourself physically and that that feels good.